rumors are they get a new tattoo for every person they stab. And it's definitely okay for your motorcycle mama to show her breast to your friends. The FIB has been tracking the lost for years. We've jumped from coast to coast and have spent more time in the Midwest than a tornado spotter. When they're not running, Matt, they're smoking it. Or so I hear a dangerous new drug on the streets called toilet cleaner. And believe me, your toilet will be cleaned after you've smoked some of it. Of course, Vinewood being Vinewood, it's not all about leathery dudes trying to show off on their motorbikes or roided up gangbangers stuck in some 90s time warp. This is the town that made mass murder into nostalgia. Of course, to become truly popular, your murder has to be both unsolved and gruesome. In a town full of alien spotters, adults dressed as zombies, and entertainers dressed as cartoon characters, it takes something particularly awful to really catch people's attention. The famous unsolved murder of a Vinewood starlet is one such case. For years, horny nerds have wondered what happened to Leonora Johnson, and if they would have plucked up the courage to speak to her or kill her themselves. It's inspired filmmakers, writers, and copycat killers. Conspiracy theorists have blamed various celebrities, the mayor, the Soviets, short skirts, women's liberation, and hidden aliens embedded amongst us. Mr. Raspberry Jail! <laughs> Why? Why? TV, you're pursuing a career in cultural stuff. Quick boy, crazy person. That damn train stopped rolling, so I'm gonna yell out, All aboard! Yeah. Get a spiritual. Yes. Now, 200 journeys. Every last bit of this crazy journey we are on is called getting respected by any means necessary. I take pride in what the hell you look at. Because that lets me know what the hell I got. See, Cheryl? Enjoy the view. Enjoy the view. It's a horizon over there. There's mountains, and there's peaks, and there's valleys. You understand? Share the women, but just don't leave no stains, because that ain't nice. You don't leave a stain on a man's leg. Oh, is that nice shirt? No. Is that nice shirt for you to get on top of another man's woman and leave stains, and don't go to that restroom and get to a towel and wipe her off? It's not, that's very, uh, it's unsanitary, and it's not nice. It's very unsanitary. That's right, Bob. One more day and I'm a retired man. Porn and potato chips. Morning. Now what the hell? Help! Somebody, I'm trapped! I can smell gas! Get me out of here! Use that bulldozer to move the pipes! And hurry, please! It stinks of gas in here! Oh god, I'm not gonna make it! Hurry up! We don't have long! Hurry, please! I smell burning! <laughs> come on! Come on! Oh, God! I'm not gonna make it! Hurry up! Get back! She's gonna go! Thank you so much! I thought I was done for there!
was entirely your fault! We hear you're a competent repo guy, yes? Yes, it's kind of like a little hobby of mine, requisitioning the underappreciated possessions of my contemporaries for some wealthy communists in China who will value them much more. <laughs> what? Robbing my so-called friends, Slick. Why? Why? Because they have things nobody else has, because they can afford it, because frankly, I'm rich enough to do whatever the fuck I want, and you're poor enough not to ask me any goddamn stupid questions. Now, I mean that as a friend. Namaste. That's a nice fucking speech about the value of friendship. Oh, of course, you must be the creepy one. That's coming from you, please. Mmm, what's going on? You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. you! Finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose! Now, are you gonna do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grapeseed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. Real bullshit charge. What is it? Triple homicide, total accident, but they deserved it. Anyway, I'm in a spiritual hole. We can help you get out that hole, brother. You in a deep hole. I got to put my hand down there and pull you up. Sure, I'll get my soul shot. I'm about to dig this fool out of this chakra hole. Have you fallen down a well, brother? I will pull you out and we can drink up that water together even though you have most likely polluted the groundwater. Like you've been fracking yourself like. I'm really into zen and omen and yoga and I want to get married to a I'm telling you, 2.7 millimeters. Who the fuck does hey, how seven? about we see which one of you two is for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mouth. 
Ooh, the fool wants to race us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. Coming up now, man. Beat it in a few seconds. Got it. Whatever. Here they come. Well, I'll tell you about that later. They're too far ahead. We gotta catch up to them if we want them to stop. Suspect has entered the Braddock Tunnel. Officer T maintains his pursuit. Oh, 
You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely it, necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? Fucking car. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit! Get the fuck out of here! Go on! Man, I'm sick of driving so slow staying with these fools. Can we have a real race? Oh, you talk a good game. Okay, just don't scratch the cars. Ah, the lady from before. Devin's assistant. Good to be working with you. It's Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel to Mr. Weston's Holding Company. And if you think it's good to be working with common thieves, well, you're very mistaken. Have you got the cars? Wow, the whole resume. Yeah, we got the cars. Bring them to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. Hey! Just spoke to Devin's man, woman, lawyer person. I'll be waiting at Hayes Auto in South LS for you idiots to show up. Yeah, right, fool. Hey, Frank. What'd I tell you, bro? These cars. <laughs> this is an opportunity. Yeah, if you say so. You know what? Right before I met you, I was boosting rides and racing them. It feels like it come full circle to me. Come on. No, I'm serious. If you hadn't got me fired from my repo job, this is exactly the kind of shit I'd be doing. So thanks, dog. After all the crap we've been through, man, you got me right back where I'd be at anyway. <laughs> The only thing to figure out now is which one of you is getting the silver medal, right? I wouldn't write off Uncle T. I wouldn't write me off just yet. Hey, look. Devin Weston, he ain't like anyone you worked for before. Man, he runs his mouth, wants me to boost cars, and most likely gonna be paying me a fraction of what they worth. He don't sound that different, to be honest. Uh, you must know who this guy is. Look him up. He's the real deal. I've seen his house. He can make things happen. So, he like, to you, what you were to me. I see your house, I think this dude can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. What do you mean? Like, how am I gonna beat your ass in this race? Don't worry, I'm taking care of that. I mean, is it just the smell of green? Or is there some other thing with this guy and you? You know, feels funky. Hey, I'm just trying to do what's best for Frank. You know, help him make the best of the chances he's given. Hey, if it's about the girl, I saw her first. Don't get too creepy, all right? She's a professional woman who's doing a job. And we'll leave it at that. Screwed up! Gentlemen, I love you all! Oh god, this is gonna be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey! 
gimme. Five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion, a work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Hey, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. 